What's up, everybody? I hope it goes well. I hope you're all having fun, staying hydrated, especially since it's summer for a good chunk of us. I know it's pretty much winter for, you know, some of the other world and... Yeah, either way, stay hydr hydrated, have some fun. Um, pretty easy video, relaxing video today. We are going to be focusing on a shop that I've kind of already started. Um, still have to go get some more things for but it's going to be the main focus. And it's not where I'm actually at. Actually, where I'm at is the clothing store that I started. Um, so I started getting all the shirts and swimsuit tops and things in here. Um, you know, just kind of some basics. I actually had these spread out a bit more, but I'm just doubling up on the colors because there are so many clothing items that I figured it would be easier. And then downstairs here, as long as there's no zombies, there shouldn't be. I actually do have this fully done, and then I'm just going to have it go that way. I really still need to kind of finish. Um, but yeah, this is going to continuously be a work in progress because so far it's only this level that has all of the clothing racks, and none of the other levels do because I need so many. Um, all that will be going on another floor too, but I wanted to focus on this gun shop. So... I started this on stream. We got the counters put in. Um, I started doing this a little bit. I need to go get a couple more of these and then we're going to have some lockers right here, which I think would be kind of cool. Um, and then I also want to continue this going down this way as well. Now this right here is um, put out more because of the wall, which is, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. It's not, it's not that big of a deal to me and it's pretty much like locked like I have those guns right there sitting kind of perfectly to where you know it's not going to be an issue but I think one more on that side and then a couple more over here um and then we'll eventually be doing the same thing over on this side as well we're going to put some of the this metal right here we're going to put this right here kind of block the back as well you know obviously we can see in here but it's it's fine um but also putting these counters to where they're going this way and then eventually leading up to this right here or leading up to this doorway right here i don't think i have any more counters on me currently i have a lot of just random stuff on me that's that's how it usually happens right i mean that's like the one thing i'm always talking about um so yeah so like i said this is still a work in progress i definitely want to do that especially because i have some guns that are over here um I do actually need to get a clothing rack in the gun shop too because I have stuff kind of like some of this I want to lay out. This is what I'm kind of thinking here is... So we have a shelf here but I'm kind of thinking maybe lining up right here. Maybe we'll turn this shelf, put it on this wall and then lining up right here we'll have some clothing, you know? Like, yeah, I mean, you could totally just reach through the bars, but this is mainly just to keep the zombies out, you know? Um, so I'm kind of thinking just a couple clothing racks and then maybe another shelf over here full of items. And then we'll just kind of, you know, fill up the center space, maybe get a table filled with a couple things. I do have some of those, like, bears here that I want to display. Um, and I think at the base... Oh, I need to grab that. I think at the base I have um, some more of these ammo containers. These are pretty rare to find. So I would very much like to get a few more of these, but I kind of want to put these out there too. But I think just kind of, you know, having some of a stock in the back would be kind of nice because then we can use these for the different type of ammos that we can just place in there. So, you know, just something like that and then maybe get a couple guns right here like, you know, hey, don't mess with our stuff. <laughs> that type of thing. Um, I actually do want to place this here because, you know, uh, where we live. But background checks were where I live. Back background checks are a thing. Which is whatever. Um, maybe we'll just place it. I can't really place this here. I was going to say maybe we'll just place it down here. Or we'll just leave it like that. Which I think leaving it like that is okay. But maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll add another. Well, if we have one here, we could probably add one down there too. I think I have another one. I'm pretty sure I have another somewhere. Yeah. Right here. Uh, we'll do it on the same side. We will do it on the same side. 
Nice. And then I guess that can maybe kind of act as a register too. I don't think I have a register on me. I honestly don't know what I have. I was doing this a bit yesterday and then the game crashed, so... And yes, it's kind of annoying to have to keep jumping across the counter, but it's... In the long run, it's not that big of a deal because I honestly don't know, like, how often we would really be... Like, participant or, you know, it, going over it, right? So it's just like, okay, well... It is what it is. Um, so yeah, so, like, this stuff here, too, is slowly getting gone through, and then it's also getting filled. So it's like, I empty, and then I fill it. I empty, and then I fill it some more. Um, and I did get some shop fridges, so that way, like, our quick mart down there can have a fridge. And then eventually, maybe, the grocery store will start getting some fridges. It's really just kind of a lot of back and forth right now. Because I can only get so many things to spawn at once. Um, and because this is coming after the toy shop video, I haven't really added anything except another Raven plush. That's the only one that I've added so far, um, as an extra. Everything else is just kind of, you know, it's here, it's chilling, it's... It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. So yeah, that's just kind of my plan, is to really get the gun store going, and I think because I also have all those weapons over at base, it would just be a really good idea to just kind of knock it out, and then we can also empty, um that one cargo container that does have some of the supplies as well. And I think it would just be nice to kind of get that organized. Um, and then maybe I'll work on the melee shop a little bit. I haven't really decided. I know it was just like when I was streaming last, um, which for me is yesterday, by the time this comes out, it'll be a while. Because I'm only kind of putting out a couple videos a week unless I can get to where there's more. Um, so I don't know exactly how long it'll be till this video comes out. But I was just working on some items, or I was just working on some stuff and I started doing the gun shop more. I was like, no, wait, <laughs> this is gonna be a video. So, but yeah, but it'll be nice to get this completely emptied here, um, put over there, and then, you know, just... Some of the things, like I said, we'll add these over there, and then some of these may actually be in the gun store, or in our shop currently. I'm not exactly sure yet, though. We'll have to place a couple of those out, because I have a lot of those. So, yeah. Um, I think what I need to do first, though, is hop into a vehicle and go get more items. Such as those shop, shop backings. I'm hoping that there will be some around. I... I think I hit the reset everything enough times to hopefully just resets all, but you never really know in all honesty. And eventually all this, you know, will be taken out. We'll have more decorations. There'll be more benches and flowers and all the other stuff and just really kind of make it look lively. Of course, it's just it's going to take time. I want to get all the shops going first before I start doing all the outside and everything else. So, but I hope everybody's doing good. I apologize if I sound tired. Um, I'm actually recording this after I just got out of class. Because I had class today. Um, and class wears me out, man. It really does. I'm one of those people that, like, I... Uh, what I'm doing is kind of like a refresher for me, okay? If that makes sense. So, a lot of this stuff, I'm like, I already kind of know the answer. And when the teacher's asking questions, it's like, nobody wants to answer. Right, so I sit back there. She's just like, um, I've had a couple of meetings with her, with the instructor, and she's always like, I know you want to answer. She's like, I can see when you, like, you know, you kind of perk up a little bit when you know the answer. And uh, she's just like, you know, I'm just hoping some other people answer. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm like, this is why I kind of wait to answer, because, you know, every, everybody, I, I have a firm belief that everybody deserves an equal opportunity in their education, okay? So, with that being said, I like to wait a little bit. Like, I mean, it's, not, it's like kind of a while before anybody answers, and then I'll just answer. And she's just like, you know, I'm fine with that. But because I like to answer so often, and like nobody really participates, it's, it's a little hard on me because I'm like, I feel bad for the teacher, but also I kind of think of them like, guys, this is, this is your education. Like, you either understand it or you don't. And if you don't, you know, you need to say something or be like, hey, uh, a, B, C, and D, and blah, 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 and whatever else, you know. So, little rant about me, I apologize, but... 
you know, I just I get really tired because I, I uh, tend to answer the teacher a lot or um, have a lot of discussions in class. Oh, we got the we got the black raven. Yes. Uh, I just need like three more of those so we can add it to the shop, too, because this one's going to go in our collection first and foremost. That's kind of exciting. We've got the black one, though. Uh. Yeah, take that. All right. Anyway. I'm just gonna come over here. I'm just kind of checking out some of these. Not a lot of these. I think the military bags, you know, will also add into the shop too. So it's kind of, I mean, hunting bags. Eh, they look like military bags. You know, they're camo. Of course, I don't, you know, when you're hunting, you wear a lot of camo, blend into your surroundings, yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm more so just thinking, hey, this is camo. Let's just put it all together. <laughs> uh... It's just kind of how it works sometimes. Oh, hey, out in the open, I'll take you. That's fine. I got I got lots of places you can go in. Tons of places you can go. Oh, I was trying to smack you and you were just walking away from me. I didn't appreciate that. All right, I'm hoping... I'm seeing some stuff. I'm hoping everything kind of reset. And it did not. Excellent. Okay. Um, well, hmm. It's a bit unfortunate, actually. I feel like it better when things reset. It gets easier because then I can pick up a lot of items. Nope, of course not. Of course not. All right. Well, I'm going to reset my game a few times and I'm just going to kind of get to the point where we're just building it and then I will come back after.
guys. I think it's done. It was actually a, um, a lot more work than I was expecting, especially because I was running back and forth between like the base or trying to figure out like what to do here in the center, right? I definitely need more of these ammo canisters. These would be nice to have fully like lined up. So just kind of like I was saying earlier, pretty much with every job that, you know, or every shop that's going to be made, it's a continuous work in progress. Um, so for instance, like the T-Rex guys, the T-Rex stuffies will eventually go on here as well. I don't know about the bottom shelves, but uh, who knows, you know, some scopes, eventually got to finish all the scopes, but this is pretty much everything I had. Clothes, that one was easy to finish. Um, I'm not going to put the camo shirts and pants over, oh, if I have another set of pants, I probably do at the base or, you know, may even have some at the uh, vehicle here. Um, I'm not going to put those over in the, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, we, we, we have tons, we have tons in there, um, because they're right here and I don't really want to like double up on everything, you know? Like, just be like, oh, you were looking for specifically for the camo. Um, I mean, I probably could. There's probably enough for me to do it. I just don't know if it's really necessary. The that, uh, uh, right there. Perfect. I would get ones on like the very end, but I don't, I don't think it's really necessary. Um, all the helmets, I thought, you know, more military base. I think there's only these two. I don't think there's a tan one unless I'm mistaken somewhere but i don't think i am um i know that there's a red braid helmet that i'm waiting for waiting to find that will eventually go there and you know just a whole bunch of other items i am thinking about maybe placing some of those like harder contain what are these the crates some crates under here that's kind of what i'm thinking and then maybe um these will continue over on this side and then back here we got we got uh he could be Melvin, I guess. We got Melvin. He's a flightless flamingo, so he, you know, he he has broken wings and he tries his best. Um, I wanted to put some stuff in here, back here, like a tool cabinet. You know, you're fixing up your gun, you're cleaning your gun, whatever. Filing cabinet for those who come and purchase guns, I suppose. All the uh, Bunker 11 key cards. I have a lot more. I just haven't gotten them yet. Um, you know, empty of that. Uh, almost all the lockers are full well these lockers are full of the of uh the bullets gunpowder i like how i have 860 but nothing in here um these will just kind of be like extras if anything and then so for all the different gun types that you can get obviously like if there were some that were same type i just put them together well relatively relatively same but um i didn't see the point really putting these two in their own separate columns whereas these you know they're all the same it's just recolored i am still missing one of these um but i'm sure i have an extra somewhere and then of course i'll be placing all the magazines as we kind of go you know um oh yeah i forgot i did some military we're just gonna take those out military helmets down there i'll leave that guy there safe things like that um and then you know all like the suppressors the muzzle and barrels what have you so yeah i think it came out pretty good but well i'm biased against my own work i don't know i feel like if there was something more that i could have done i would have but i actually really like how this looks um again finding something right here to kind of take up the area was kind of a pain um and then over here i did actually get the wall in i don't know if i'll do this next because it was a, that over there was a relatively large project so i might do some stuff in between where it's you know like me i don't know getting stuff for uh the clothing center or something i have no idea the motel um i did actually hear back from some people um the motel will actually be done by a few really good friends of mine um so each of them are gonna pick a room and they're gonna decorate the room at the motel however they want i told them that they have free reign we can do it over multiple play sessions so that will be done in time that I'm actually super excited for. There's going to be five rooms. Um, I know so far four of them are taken. There are six rooms total, but one of them I'm making into an office, you know, for the hotel check-in. So again, that one will be, 
you know, completed over time. We'll go see, you know, checkups and things like that on there. I really, I'm really, really debating on whether or not we should put the camo things over here. I mean, I guess we could. I really enjoy how this is actually coming about as well. Um, you know, just getting all the different types of clothing and well, all the different shirts. I did actually, I don't remember if I showed it or not, but I did actually start the pants, kind of. I at least started it to where I could, um, at, at least, like, just trying to, what am I trying to say? Like, figure out exactly where they go, right? Just trying to plan it out. They'll probably go out pretty far. I think I have, like, four of each downstairs so it'll probably be like four each up here as well and then maybe some along this um and then upstairs upstairs will actually be i think a little bit different i'm gonna start using more of the it's not those not those i i have so much on me there's 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 just so much there's so much um maybe some of those like eight cube type shelves shelves in here you know kind of display i think we'll display all the helmets again so maybe i should actually before because I, I do kind of want to go back to like the looting world and kind of sell one of everything but that's just me um but i think i'll place these down here because i uh yeah i can't oh, if those are those are two different colors okay great it probably wouldn't be bad. Okay, so maybe maybe if I'm doing this, maybe in return I will go and put all the camo shirts and stuff down here. That one, yeah. I think I have all these already. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, this one, no. I know there's there's just there's a lot of stuff. All right, there's there's a lot of items. No. Uh, I don't know if I had that one out. I don't think I did. Nope, we do now. Okay, excellent. I actually found a pretty decent helmet. Like, this one has an armor of 13. I think that's the highest I've seen it. I don't know if anybody has any other, like, higher armor pieces than that one. And if you do, nice. If you don't, nice. <laughs> that's all I really gotta say about it. Um, just because, I mean, you know, those take a lot of time to try and find and get and whatnot we're missing a color on that one and i don't think i have one of that color currently no okay well we'll just do that and like i said i suppose when i go back downstairs i can place all the shirts um there's just there's a lot of them It'd be kind of nice if there were different types of camo like if there was like a tan one maybe if he brings those out we'll start like switching them out but until then i think leaving just the shirts the way we have them currently you know where it's just the one and it just lines it up is fine i think the rest might be in the vehicle no big deal no big deal i'm really liking how everything's looking um but back to the gun shop We'll call it we'll call it piercing armor that's what we call it piercing armor i don't know why don't ask me you know what i still should actually do is get some of these backpacks in here now of course like this bag has stuff but find some backpacks i'll throw some backpacks in here i think that was one thing that i definitely did want to do so i think actually they'll probably look pretty good let's see which one is mainly relatively empty you kind of are but i know i need to do this because i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go sell this stuff like this is all the extras that i i don't really want to keep um so you know i'll end up just going to like the loot world and selling them maybe we can do them there maybe we should do them over here well, i think we can start it over here a little bit one there you know there's some nice bags that hold everything under the sun. I actually just ordered myself a new bag, too. Ordered myself a nice, like, tactical-type messenger bag. That way, because I, I have to take my laptop with me to a lot of places. Um, but this way, too, when I am doing that, 
I have a good place to put it and other things. Um, how do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? Just this here. What am I? I'm in this, right? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Put that down. Perfect. Excellent. I think all these school bags I'll empty and I'll throw over at the school. Yeah, that'll look nice. But yeah, but thank you guys for hanging out for this episode. Like I said, this definitely took me a while. Um, it's a good thing that I went through on the like the hundred subscriber, um, whatever it's called, the hundred subscriber video and uh, did it at the base because a lot of this is actually from the base and there's still a lot more over there that I really got to clear out which I am slowly doing um, a good chunk of it's here but yeah like I said there's still some of it left so that definitely helped but I really I actually really enjoy how this came out I'm pretty happy I didn't know exactly what to expect when I was doing it but I think it looks good um but yeah but again guys thank you so much for hanging out I <laughs> do appreciate it i'm just gonna crouch in the corner and, you know talk to you guys it's fine we normal people talk like this okay if you're not talking like this to your friends crouched in a corner with zombies out and you're holding a weapon what are you doing with your life what are you doing you know you you gotta get on board no, i'm kidding i'm kidding um yeah but again thank you guys if you like the content that you're seeing please make sure to like subscribe Ooh, airdrop um it's free for you it helps me out tremendously i love seeing everybody our next zombie major zombie killing that we're going to be doing is a major one um is at the 150 mark so if you want to be a part of that you know definitely make sure you subscribe um but as always make sure to hydrate have fun and i will see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>